Hi, I'm John Hirabayashi, CEO of Community First Credit Union. On behalf of our entire team at Community First Credit Union, I'd like to congratulate 2020's many graduating high school classes in Northeast Florida. We know graduation celebrations will be different than you expected this year, and while nothing can replace the in-person celebrations you'd plan with friends and family, we're glad to partner with News for Jacks and High School 912 on this first-of-a-kind virtual celebration to congratulate each of you for reaching your graduation milestone. I'm sure you're feeling a lot of different emotions right now. Moving beyond high school presents a world of challenge and excitement. Maybe you're going to college right away. Maybe you're going directly into the workforce or enlisting in our armed forces. Whichever path you choose, there are new experiences and excitement coming your way. At Community First Credit Union, we salute you as North Florida's brightest and best. Congratulations to each of you on your big day. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way most of us live. As you can see, this card table has become my anchor desk from inside my home. Safer at home orders and social distancing guidelines have stopped our daily routines and kept us apart from familiar faces like our coworkers, friends, and in some cases, family members. One group especially impacted by this worldwide crisis students. Especially graduating seniors who've had some of life's most precious memories taken from them. From school gatherings to sporting events and in some cases graduation ceremonies. That's why Channel 4 and High School 912 are proud to partner on Brightest and Best, celebrating the class of 2020. The local station takes pride in being part of our communities and believes it's important to recognize this year's grads for their hard work and determination in overcoming these challenging circumstances. To our graduating seniors and the teachers, administrators, and parents who helped them along the way, we say congratulations and good luck. Channel 4, the local station, and High School 912 are proud to present Brightest and Best, celebrating the class of 2020. Brought to you by Community First Credit Union. To the class of 2020, words cannot express just how proud I am of you. And it excites me to know that through this television special, the entire community will get to see what so many of your teachers and leaders have seen all along, how incredibly special you are. I know the events of your senior year haven't met your expectations, nor mine, but believe me when I say that all of you have exceeded my expectations. You all have shown me that in the face of adversity, you won't back down because you've chosen strength all of us at Team Duval are stronger. Remember, none of what you've endured these past few months can ever define you. But the heart and strength I've seen in you all year long, that is what I'll always remember. So seniors, keep choosing strength. This community loves you and is behind you. And we will never forget the class of 2020. Hi, I'm Warren A. Jones, and I'm so delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate our seniors. As your school board member, I am so proud of you, not simply because of what you faced, but because of how you faced it. This hasn't been an easy road, but as you have been encouraged, choose strength and you will become a better person for it. You are a true inspiration to this district and to this community. On behalf of the Duval County School Board and all of Team Duval, we celebrate you and we honor the class of 2020. Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. John Avendano, President of Florida State College of Jacksonville. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, our faculty, staff, and our students, we want to extend our most sincere congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. For those of you who will be joining FSEJ in the summer and the fall, we welcome you to the FSCJ College community. We look forward to preparing you for the future, for the workforce, and for life. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. We look forward to great things from you from the future.
In the last few weeks, I have often heard the statement that the events that are unfolding right now will go down in the history books forever. Although I agree with that statement, I also believe that it is important to recognize the fact that neither our graduating class nor our generation will be defined by the virus itself. COVID-19 has already changed the very nature of our society and will continue to shape what our daily lives look like for the foreseeable future. Many lives have been lost and my heart goes out to those who have lost loved ones from this virus. Thank you to the many people on the front lines like first responders that have unselfishly dedicated their time and risked their personal safety on behalf of others. I think it is important to note that this virus has impacted everyone differently. Thus, it is vital to not diminish the effects it has had on individuals in our community and around the world. In spite of the fact that COVID-19 has been the headline for most of the news stories, it does not have to be the headline of our news story. COVID-19 does not define us as a graduating class. Instead, we are defined by our reaction to it. That is what will truly be remembered. If this was graduation as usual, right now you would be hearing a speech telling you that this moment begins a new chapter of our lives one that is both exciting and scary, one where you have the freedom to discover who you are and pursue your passions. The reality is that still remains true. The only difference is we have to mature a little bit faster because right now our community is depending on us. Each one of us has an incredible opportunity. We have the chance to step up, to be positive forces in our community. As students of the Duval County Public School System for the past 12 years, we have had the opportunity to learn under the direction of many great teachers. From each teacher, we have amassed a wealth of knowledge in the respective academic disciplines taught, which have served to further our academic pursuits. We have been taught invaluable lessons that transcend the advertised purpose of traditional academia. Although most of us are only 17 or 18 years old, we have spent the majority of our lives learning in classrooms. Reflecting deeply on this vast time spent within the school system, I can unequivocally state that we have been equipped with the tools necessary to make a historical impact in the midst of this pandemic. With that being said, I encourage each one of you to go beyond exercising sound judgment in safe social practices, but instead seek out ways to make a difference where it is most needed whether it is by supporting essential employees, aiding in food distribution for those who have been economically impacted, or even just by reaching out to people to make sure that they are doing okay. Regardless of the role you choose, it is important that you choose one, because in times like these, it takes all of us working together. To my Eagle family, I take so much pride in who we are as a school because of the values that we stand for. Paxson epitomizes the definition of inclusion and seeks to embrace diversity in every way, all while upholding the highest standards of academic excellence. We truly are a family. To this end, I would like to extend my gratitude to those who made this incredible environment possible. To the superintendent, Dr. Green, our principal, Dr. Turner, and assistant principals, Ms. Allen, Dr. McClellan, and Dr. Weaver, for your vision and leadership. To our amazing guidance counselors, Ms. Bajalia, Ms. Clayton, Ms. Culpepper, and Ms. Mullen for aiding in the success of our students, both now and in the future. To the amazing teachers who bestow knowledge and better us as human beings, thank you. To my peers, I am so proud of each of you. It has truly been a pleasure to learn beside you all for the past four years. I can't say that I will miss the late nights doing homework because of procrastination or the anxiety-filled moments before our big test. Yet in spite of the academic rigor at Paxson, we have made some incredible memories together. I'm excited to see what the future holds for each of us. Thank you.
If someone told me my freshman year that I would be presenting my final words about senior year to my peers on TV, I never would have believed them. Hello to my fellow Eagles and to those who don't know who I am. Hi, my name is Jessica Reynosa and I am the Student Government Association President of Paxson School for Advanced Studies, but I am even more so a proud student of Paxson. This year has been a wild ride for each and every one of us seniors. Different challenges and experiences have led us all to a common destination, one we never would have expected. The COVID-19 pandemic has made all of us feel as though our efforts have gone to waste. Our long-awaited exams, sporting events, and senior activities have been canceled. However, what isn't canceled is the rest of our lives, our journey. Two iconic figures, Ralph Waldo Emerson and Kobe Bryant, have reminded us that not everything in life is about the destination. The journey is what matters most. Just because the virus has impacted our senior year and put us in a unique situation, it's important to remember that this pandemic is just a sliver of time in our lives. We are stronger than the virus. Being a student at Paxson for the last four years has taught me this. Not only are we strong enough to pull all-nighters quite often for essays and projects we have procrastinated on, we are strong enough to move on from all the pains Ms. Rona has given us. When we first started online school over a month ago, I could feel the worries everyone had about this whole situation. However, I still remember a certain teacher of mine telling my classmates and I that this too shall pass. Thank you, Dr. Shingles, for reminding me that this is not the end for any of us seniors. We have persevered through an excruciatingly difficult four years and none of our hard work is going to waste. Special senior events may have been canceled and taken away from us, but what can't be taken away are the experiences and lessons we have learned along the way. The memories we've made, the friendships we've built, and the legacies we've created will always be a part of us. This pandemic has definitely impacted every single one of us, but it's our job to make an even bigger impact on the world. While I wish I could take all of us to an alternate universe to live an ideal senior year, I regret to inform you all that it is not possible. But what is possible is moving forward from here on out and living every day like it's our last. As my high school years have come to an end, I'm glad to say that Paxson has very well achieved its mission of making every student feel as though they belong while also being held to the highest standards in order to experience the greatest future successes in life. However, Paxson has not only allowed me to experience future success, but success here and now. To Dr. Royce Turner, Thank you for showing me what a true leader is like. To my favorite assistant principals, Ms. Allen, Dr. Weaver, and most importantly, Dr. McLeland, thank you for believing in me and making me strive to be the best I can be. To my SGA sponsors, Ms. Coldiron and Ms. Lakatos, thank you for not only being amazing teachers to me in the past, but for guiding me to make the right choices to make the Paxson students feel like they belong. Finally, to my friends and fellow classmates, thank you for giving me the best four years of my life. I am honored to have been a part of your lives. Additionally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our frontliners and first responders for helping us stay safe during this rough time. Thank you everyone and go Eagles.
Channel 4, The Local Station, and High School 912 would like to thank our presenting sponsor, Community First Credit Union, along with our proud partners, Baptist Health, JEA, Baker Sporting Goods, Florida State College at Jacksonville, and Powering America, along with our honor roll sponsors.